Ang Tu Fort Wayne Councilmen are preparing an ordinance that would add transparency to contractors and their political donations to city office holders. It's a move to peel back the possibility that some city officials are awarding contracts for a particular job to the people who have donated to their political campaigns. News Channel 15's Kaitor Pessoa has more on the attention that pay to play contracts is getting. By pay to play, the councilmen are suggesting that if right now you want to participate in working with the city on its projects, you have to help the politicians get into office, and they think that's unfair to Fort Wayne residents. Fort Wayne City Councilman Jason Art believes some city contractors are favored because they helped Mayor Tom Henry get into office. So he and Councilman John Crawford are proposing a new law. If a key employer of a company donates more than $2,000 in one year to any political campaign in Fort Wayne, they are not allowed to bid for city government contracts. They believe you shouldn't have to pay to play with the Fort Wayne government. Because what it does is it, it, it disenfranchises the, the, just the, the person that gives 100 bucks, you know, the, 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 the constituent that just cares about their city and they, they want the, the, the mayor to represent them. When you have um, large um, companies that are making bids for contracts also dominating campaign finance. It, it kind of disenfranchises a lot of folks. The councilmen are basing their judgment off of research from the Indiana Policy Review, which shows almost two-thirds of Henry's 2015 campaign dollars are from a current city vendor. ARP says he has no solid proof the contractors are trying to secure more contracts by donating, but doesn't like what these numbers are suggesting. I have a hard time believing that, that folks that happen to work at a particular engineering company that live in Los Angeles, California, Denver, Colorado, um, and Connecticut, um, that they all decided that they wanted to you know, chip in a few hundred uh, or a couple thousand dollars to uh, a mayor in Fort Wayne, Indiana. A city spokesperson says Mayor Henry is still reviewing the new proposal. They provided the following statement. A lot of good work by a variety of respected companies is taking place in the city of Fort Wayne on multiple initiatives that are having a positive impact for residents, businesses, and neighborhoods. The investments and momentum we're experiencing are unprecedented. The pay-to-play proposal will be discussed at City Council on Tuesday. In Studio 15, Kaitor Pessoa. News Channel 15.